Hey, so I want to give you a quick demo of a new feature that's been added to DropZone around its integration with shortcuts. So in DropZone, if you haven't used it before, it has a drop bar. And the use of drop bar is that you can take images or files or whatever, and you can just drop them onto this drop bar area and they're gonna get added into this kind of holding zone in your grid. Um, so I put these two images in here, and now what I could do is I can drag them off to another action, like resize, or I could upload them to a server, um, or I can drop them into another app. So I'm gonna just drag them out of there and put them in the screencast folder. So it's pretty handy because you can just have, you know, a bunch of different files that you're working on currently and, you know, keep them um, handy there and then, you know, drag them into wherever you need them. So the new feature um, sort of expands on this a wee bit and lets you add things to Dropbar from within a shortcut. So let me give you an example. Uh, I'm going to create a new shortcut that takes a screenshot of a selected area of the screen and adds it directly into Dropbar. So the way you do that is open the Shortcuts app and then add a new shortcut. And then I'm gonna add a take screenshot action in here. And I'm gonna make it take an interactive screenshot of a custom area. And then I'm gonna save that into a file. Um, and I'm gonna choose a folder here. Um, I'm gonna have it save it into the screenshots folder. And then I'm going to um, do a search for drop zone here, which is gonna show you all the drop zone actions. And the one that we want is this add files to drop bar action. And I'm gonna drag that into the shortcut here. And um, you'll see that for this action, uh, you can choose what files you want it to um, add in. And I want those files to be the output of this step here where it's saved it into that screenshots folder. So to do that, you just right click on here and choose select magic variable. And then I want it to be the saved file here that gets added. And so this is going to take um, an interactive screenshot, save it into that screenshots folder, and then add it straight into Dropbar. So let's uh, close that and give it a test if I run that. Um, and you see that the cursor's changed this cross here. And now I can just select an area of the screen. And then if you look in Drop Zone, you'll see that it's added in that screenshot. So pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that you can do just to make this a bit easier to run is you can make it so you can run that shortcut directly from within drop zone. So to do that, uh, just open the drop zone grid and then click the plus in the top left here. And then you can choose run shortcut from the menu. And you'll see that it's got that new shortcut that we just made. And I'm gonna choose that and click add. And now when you open the grid, you'll have that, um, that new shortcut available. So um, I'm just gonna take another screenshot here of Safari. Uh, so I'm just gonna um, click on the drop zone grid and then click add files to drop bar and select that. And you'll see that it's put it straight into drop bar here. So this is pretty handy because once it's in drop bar, um, you can then drag it into one of these other um, you know, destinations. Um, one of the features of drop bar is that you can lock items in here. So I'm just gonna lock this in here. And maybe, you know, I want to resize a copy of it and I want to upload it to a server. And then maybe I wanna put it into AirDrop. You know, you can send it to all these different destinations. So that can be really handy.